Okay guys, Rich here at uh, Collector Car Gallery. We're looking at this 1966 Lincoln Continental Convertible. Uh, I love Lincoln Continental Convertibles, 61 to 67, probably one of my favorite cars, but you definitely have to be aware of what you're getting. Um, excuse our dust here, we're remodeling a little bit also. <clears throat> this car, uh, everything uh, appears at this point to be running and driving and operating exactly as it should. 66 convertible, originally red in color, um, black interior, and uh, white top, wide whites on it with the Lincoln hubcaps. Uh, we're going to do a quick walk around the outside, then do the inside, then show the top operation. Uh, right now, all the windows are going up and down. Um, from the driver's position, uh, I believe a couple of the windows, the driver's position works with the driver's window, and then uh, from uh, the, a couple of the windows are, are not operating consistently from the driver's position, but they all work from their own window, okay? So that's something we can certainly look at if you needed to. All right, first thing we're gonna do, just like all of our videos, we're gonna start at the front driver's side uh, fender, and we're looking at the chrome here, uh, and get about an inch away from the chrome or so, so you guys can really see what's going on. We've got some micro pitting right here, all right? Really minor stuff. I think the chrome appears to be original in this vehicle. Um, these bumpers are certainly a candidate where they could be re-chromed, uh, but if you're looking like from standing, you know, um, they actually look pretty presentable on this car. But when we get down real close, we can see this kind of patina, as I would call it, scratches, scrapes. Luckily, there's no rust holes or anything like that. So stainless going down the fender looks great. Uh, no bumps, no tings. It looks really nice. The fit of the hood looks really good. This car's definitely been repainted, but uh, as I said um, in my description, uh, it really, really shows very nicely. Not really any blemishes that I can see uh, staring at me offhand. Okay, so it looks really, really good. Um, chrome bumper or chrome grill looks great. This car is not an auto dimming uh, headlight car, so else it would have a kind of an auto dimmer right here, but it looks pretty good. I do have, I'm sorry, look at this. I got one ting right here. You can see in the trim, okay? Little ting right there from a stone chip. So as we look down this vehicle, uh, I am very impressed with how straight it is and how flat it is. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the, the, the wheel well trim looks good. There's no dents or dings in it. Hubcaps are um, really decent. A few little tings in all of them, let's assume. Um, rear stainless trim that's polished looks great. Windshield's in great shape. All this stainless is in great shape. Certainly, you could polish this and it would look uh, exponentially better, but as of right now, it looks really, really well. Looks really good, excuse me. As we look at the vent window, uh, rubber, it looks great. No issues there. Uh, belt molding is good. Maybe a little chewed up over here. And maybe a little right here too. But overall, very nice. The convertible top is in great shape. Uh, glass back. That looks new to me. Um, Continental emblem is good. For those of you that know, these are expensive, so you got to be very aware of those. You know, that's a $1,000 cost that maybe you wouldn't have known about if you had to replace all of them on the car. So rear bumper, again, more of the same. Uh, the patina is is still there, but there's no holes in the bump or anything like that. So they could be re-chromed, but it is a little pricey to get these things re-chromed. So, you know, it could be, um, you know, it could be a thousand dollars a piece to get them redone. So again, I'm very pleased with the paint. It, sh it looks really, really nice. Uh, laid out flat. I'm looking for any blemishes that I might see in the paint right now, and I just can't seem to see any. So pretty pleased with it. As we look down the quarter on this side, I mean, I again it looks very nice i don't see any bubbles or any bumps in the paint anything like that laid out very straight looks good uh top again up here very good shape no issues obviously all this stuff was taken off to have the car painted i'm not saying the car was taken completely apart but i'm saying all this stuff was taken apart to be painted um, it's nice to see that nobody tried to tape up to these things because that just doesn't ever turn out very very nice so again, the glass over here looks good. This belt molding and squeegee is all in good shape right here. Um, and the rear one is in pretty good shape too. So uh, good looking as far as that goes. 
All right, really nice. So as then, uh, what we'll do now is kind of walk around to the driver's side. I'll open the hood and we'll look at the engine compartment also. And then we'll start this thing so everybody can see the top work, okay? So <clears throat> let's look at the engine compartment. All right, also let's bring attention to this real quick too. Um, the drop downs are all working like they should, okay? And that's a big deal for this reason right here, okay? If these are ever not working, this tucks in behind the front window, so you can't you can't open the open the door without damaging this piece of trim right here, this piece of um, weather strip. So it's really nice to have that working because it can be uh, a big deal to track down and to get in here and dink with all these relays and little switches that cause that to work. So, oops, sorry, door has to shut all the way. So uh, let's check the other side also just to make sure that's working. And then we'll get under the hood and look under the hood. Whoops, there we go. Yep, working. Doing what it's supposed to do. Opens up and goes right back up like it's supposed to. Okay, under the hood. As you can see, everything looks pretty original. Maybe somebody's put a new air cleaner, or repainted this one. Um, uh, other than that, you know, really maybe missing a few little rubber bumpers here and there. But that's it. Those are easy to replace. I'll probably just go ahead and replace those. This is an AC car, and AC does work. Um, so this looks pretty original and, and shows pretty well, actually. So we're going to close this. Okay. So let's open the car all the way up, and then we will um, we'll just take a look at all the interior here also. Uh, passenger side, door, door panel on the inside looks really nice. Uh, weather stripping, that's a big deal that most people don't realize on these cars. The weather stripping kit for this car to do all of this. This is all in good shape, by the way. All nice stuff. The weather stripping kit on this car is about $3,500. So not like a Camaro or something where it's, you know, nice and nice and cheap, 300 bucks. So it's something to consider for sure. Uh, this is kind of the, the big area that's a problem usually on Lincoln's, this little armpit right here, and this one looks good. Um, it doesn't, again, you'll see when we get this car in a lift, it is a pretty rust-free southern vehicle. So weather stripping looks good on the rear door. The door panels all look nice. I'm missing a few things like this here, you know, this little piece that slides on here. Um, I might even have one of those. And then uh, the carpeting on the doors looks great. Uh, carpeting inside the car. I believe this carpet's original in the car. And you can see where there's some spots where it's, it's pulled a little bit and worn. Okay, but overall in very good shape. Looks like somebody's done new kick panels though. And you can see the difference between like these are, these are replacements. Like this is what you would get, this, this loop style. And this is like the original carpet. You know, with like the Lincoln embossed emblem in the, in the floor mat and all that. So that's kind of the difference. Um, this will look very nice though if you were to redo the carpet in this entire new stuff. Um, which would be, you know, probably 500 bucks to maybe redo the, the everything. Uh, this door panel on the passenger side looks great. Uh, the dash is in good shape. I do have one spot right here that was repaired. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, I had that repaired just because, uh, you know, it's always best to try to salvage the original dash. Uh, otherwise, all the rest of this looks nice. Steering wheel has a cover on it, but let's assume that the steering wheel is has got the usual crack in it here and, and here where they always have get a crack. So, <clears throat> slide around to the other side real quick. Actually, we'll start the car here and we'll do the windows here. Okay. Whoops, vent window. Open and shut. Window down, up, we'll leave this down. Again, this window down and all the way down. We'll shut this. Go over and put this window down here also. Nice, huh? Go the rest of the way down now. Just showing it goes up and down. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, on this, on the driver's side, uh, let's get a look at the seats now. Also, whoops, excuse me. Look at the seats. Um, seats are vinyl in this car. Uh, as you know, most of you might know, Lincoln Continental's uh, convertibles didn't come with vinyl. They came with leather, uh, but, but leather interior, a full kit for this vehicle is, is very expensive, ten, twelve thousand $12,000. So most people opt to just do vinyl. This looks very nice. It is a high quality vinyl and the pattern is really, uh, uh, looks good with the car and fits the car. Again, we're looking at this little armpit right here. This is in good shape, no issues there, really dry. Look at this door panel, carpet's nice. Chrome is nice, but shows a little pitting, you can see. Okay, looks good. Weather strip's nice on all the way around the vehicle. Here too, along the top, weather strip is nice. And you know, it's a little dry over here, but it's still holding together in one piece, so I wouldn't do anything with it. Uh, driver's side door, we do see a little bit of fraying starting on this original carpet right here, down at the bottom. So probably a new carpet kit is in this vehicle's future and it would look really, really nice. Okay, maybe 500 bucks and you could do the lower doors and all the interior, the inside of the car. And that would really, really look nice. Again, got one small trim piece missing right there. And we'll look at the dash. Um, AC, eight track, uh, AC is blowing cold and looking good. Seats are in good shape. I got one little perforation right there that I actually can have that repaired. That's not a big deal at all to have that repaired. It'll be invisible when I'm done. Uh, but otherwise, the seats are in great shape and look really nice. So keep in mind, you can't just you can't just buy a lot of this stuff, like these door panels and stuff like that. It's very, very difficult to get. So uh, we're going to start the car again. And then I'm going to have somebody come over here and work the top for us. So you can see it. You guys can see the top working, going up and down like it's supposed to. Okay, jump in here, will you? And then shut the door, and then just run the top down. <clears throat> Rear deck's going up just like it's supposed to. Got a carpet kit on the inside. Uh, you can see there's the door panel for the uh, for this over here. It's out right now, and you can see there. Look how solid that is. It looks really nice. Flipper going up just like it's supposed to, doing what it's supposed to do. Flipper moved, and now we got the convertible top doing what it's supposed to do. Really, really nice. look in here all this looks really good right now too just keep holding it down until it clicks keep going keep holding it yep that's good yep and as we see here it's not hitting where a normal Lincoln would hit here you can go ahead and shut the car off so tops working exactly as it should uh, actually go ahead and start the car one more time and we'll just run the top we'll run the top back up now also go ahead and put the top back up now So as you can see here, car's doing everything it's supposed to do. We're gonna watch this flipper come right down. Right, this flipper that everybody's always talking about in these Lincolns. It's gonna fold up here after the top goes up. This is a big deal too, guys. Like this, this, this thing latching like it's supposed to, that's a big deal. Flipper's going right down. Weather stripping looks good under there too. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and shut the car off. Great, well guys, that's the outside of this 1966. Lincoln Continental Convertible. As I said before, I, I would love to find some blemishes or anything in the paint. Really, the only thing on the outside of this vehicle that I could even pick apart right now, if I had to pick something, would be, you know what, this car is probably worth 
uh, $10,000 more than I'm asking if these bumpers were taken off and re-chromed. Just, I'm just simply saying that that is, in my experience, a fact on this vehicle. So uh, that's the outside of this 1966 Continental Convertible. Uh, we'll be looking at the underside here in just a moment.